Hey, I'm here. Combing out my hair after washing it because we got water. How about you? Amazing, isn't that? How nice it is to have a warm shower if you haven't had one for a day or two and long johns. Know what I mean? Huh, so to be a bit free, find out I'm even here. If you do it all. Uh, where is he at? He's gone. Actually, I'm putting my hair away. If you want to make a pillow one day and you save all your hair to do that in the old days they'd save the hair oh my goodness i'm almost 13 percent. if i don't plug in y'all are gonna miss out on me not that you're watching because you're all out doing your celebrations today i would be too this is my celebration i'm celebrating life what is your time worth how are you spending it? hopefully today you're spending it in a very wise way so, as I put my hair away, pack it in my little bags. Hey, you know what? It's going to be one of those kind of days, but that's all right. It's Sunday. You know what? Thank you for visiting. Look at those people there now. Look at that. They weren't there. It went away. It came back. There's people if you're really there. Hey. Have you caught up on all that jabbering I've been doing on there, man? You know, there's been 40 people seen it. Yeah. Maybe 60 on uh, YouTube. A uh, thousand people, maybe. Two thousand. You know what? I'm not giving a million dollars worth of stuff to one person. There's a lot of people, but i got to find a lot of people to do that with. If you got some good... Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I'm going gray. I'm getting old. Um, well, that's not too bad. Hey, I'm going to have to start doing some workouts again. It turns out I'm getting issues with not having the full mobility. After it damaged my shoulder, i got to get it fit again. <clears throat> you may want to join me. I want to do some workouts in the morning maybe um, a couple times a week. Maybe once a week or so. And... Trinity's going to do some with me, too. She just doesn't know yet. So that we can go ahead and show you guys male and female versions of a, kind of a yoga type thing. It's a qigong. It's a, we call we gong. We, all of us, eyes together, working together. And, uh, and kind of showing how to get the vessel back in condition. You know, kind of like you want to go right out in your car, but you left it in the garage a long time, didn't change oil, let the tires go down, that kind of thing. And now you want to go out and... <laughs> yep, I'm back. Did you know I was gone? Could you tell the difference between when I was there and all of a sudden I wasn't? What is really nice, though, they've been very um, polite about chopping me off at the end of sentences normally, or right after certain keywords, or if I suggest I might be coming out there to do something like, you know, be nice, talk good things today. All happy thoughts, all smiles, all wonderful, because we're gonna, we're gonna make come in that just is freaking me out, because I know my bill normally ran 600 to 1,000 a month for the, the B and B and the buildings that I have, and that's without any particular high heat. Now, we did shut it down. For, it was just got too much snow, too cold. We couldn't even hope to keep those houses hot enough. We still kept some heat on just to keep it from freezing up too bad. Didn't work real well. But if you've been um, dealing with some of this stuff, thank you very much, Shannon. I appreciate that. Mm. All right. Wow. It's like when you're asleep in the morning and you wake up for a second and have a really good, vivid dream and you think, can I get back into that dream? That was such a good dream. I used to do that when I was real young, about 13. We came back from Germany, and I'd been in love with my first puppy love, Jeanette Geronilla. And she was um, um, Philippine. In the Army, we didn't know the difference, but that's where her parents were from. They were part of the Army. And, uh, and I was so in love, my puppy love, and I came back to the United States with no warning, left all my comic books behind and all my friends. I got back to the United States and started getting beaten up. Hey, look at that. In and out, like a flash, a dream. A digital character appearing and disappearing over and over again. All right. I don't know. Is that cutting you out, guys, each time? Or is it just kind of like going together and looking like it's seeming because they have this delay about 
looks like about a minute and a half normally. So maybe this looks like it's actually sticking together. It's chunks. Little teeny tiny chunks of information passing through time. Speaking of time, let's just suppose, genetically speaking, that there's a recruiter out there in the spiritual world saying, hey, we need some new spirits on Earth to go ahead and clean up the place because it's just getting a little out of hand. You want to volunteer for an incarnation? And Jesus is out there saying, we need some more. Hey, hey, you know, some more shots. Some more. Thank you, Jennifer. That's kind of what I'm hoping to do. I hope to give away enough materials to enough people to start enough pure salvage outposts all around the world where people can build their homes, tiny little houses, organically, sustain, sustainably built, so that you save the money of making glass, so that you save the money of cutting down trees, and you save the environment by not cutting down trees. What do you do when you're stuck in glue? <laughs> You chew your way out. So you get these little exercisers. <laughs> they make your choppers stronger. Circulate, supposedly, your muscles and your... I'm trying this out. I'm hoping it works. So these are the little tricks you use to go ahead and exercise your mouth in case you want to use it a lot. Like when you're in a digital world and you need a digital mouth that has a lot of digital exercise. And you got to get a lot of stuff in real quick because they chop you off over and over again. Nah, they wouldn't do that. So there seems to be a little signal problem today. <laughs> you can't tell. So if I look like all of a sudden I disappear and come back again, it's because I really do, <laughs> at least to you. And uh, therefore, while I'm disappeared, I kind of try to think, what am I going to do? What are you going to do? What happens if you get ghosted? What happens if all of a sudden you don't come back on? You know, one of the problems is, and I've been finding this out, every time I try to get on, have you noticed this? They want my code. They want Want proof? <laughs> yeah, right there handy, isn't it? Amazing how fast you get the evidence of what you speak of some days. So be careful what you visualize. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you anticipate. Never worry. Never fear. Always. Let me be clear. I mean, getting a focus. You, you alone, determine the value of your that's where I started out, trying to get to, but I haven't had time because <laughs> they won't give me much time. Now, what is time? Measured by what? How long you're allowed to be online? Is that what time is measured by these days? Is time how much you get to live or watch TV? How do you value your time? Is it just nickels and dimes? All worn out? Not worth collecting? Remembering? Moments past? What are you selling them for? What's the <laughs> Man, they keep going that long. It's just with 30 strokes, several sets. Yep. So, I'm listening to some of my music while this is going on. The story of Wibbley and Wub, a book of Wibbley and Wub. It's actually online. You can listen to it as an audio. I'll stop it for a second so it doesn't get us in the way here. And, and it tells you a little story about a young man who goes out there and tries to uh, um, fulfill the purpose of his life. Suppose he knew that. Suppose that was gifted to you. Suppose you picked ahead of time when you were going to come in. You said, kind of negotiating kind of what you want to do. I want to have a great time. Let's plan. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and make this difference and that difference while I'm alive down there on earth. Incarnate where I can change things instead of spiritual where I can't touch things and communicate with my mouth and touch and all those ways we can do that while we're here inside this hmm, holographic world. It's all frequency. We know this. There's really no solid matter. It's the way we perceive it that makes it appear like solid matter. Science is a wonderful thing. Metaphysics, per se, is a wonderful thing. Quantum physics, all these things, they mean. Well, what it means is that some things, just like my voice, when it comes to you in a certain way, is going to be able to affect you differently than when I use that really high nasally voice that goes so fast. The Barry White version. You know, when somebody says, and they mean it, I love you. I really, really love you. Hey, we're back. 
Imagine, if you will, a young boy about 15 years old named Darby Leddick. Envision this boy living in the 1960s, and for many reasons, which we will describe in more depth, is depressed and suicidal. He is tired of being Suicide. picked on by bullies, has moved 13 times from Germany to Bolivia and numerous other places, and changed schools some 11 times by then. He is alienated and alone, in a family with a dad in Vietnam and a mother parting with boyfriends. As the oldest son, he has had to play daddy to a younger brother and sister who, of course, didn't like him in that role. Ever been there, guys? His depression had become overwhelming, taking him to extreme measures of escape, to the point that he was willing to give up his life in order to find out what the meaning of it was supposed to be about. You know what that means, don't you? Why had he been sent to this place of abuse and anger? Why keep struggling to be better in a world that seemed to only get worse? Get worse. Has it ever crossed your mind, guys? You just want to go ahead and maybe check out, find out why. Why did somebody send me here? What's your time worth? Your time on earth? Why are you here? What do you want? Well, I don't know. Is it the world that has broken into? Or am I the It's a story for a lot of us. Don't check out. Stick around. Why? Because that young boy, he was so desperate to find out. He checked out. What's there? What do you believe? And just because you believe it, is that what you're going to find? Or is there a lesson to be learned? No matter which way you turn, which opportunity you take, which door you choose to go through. I know I'm cutting in. I'm cutting out. A lot of you just dropped out because like, same thing. Why well, stick around? What might be here? What might be found? Hopefully an answer, a path, a way to build your, your dream with other people who share that dream. It's not gonna be my dream. I'm not going to dictate your dream. In fact, the whole idea is to stop others from dictating how you will find your happiness, how you will find your peace, how you will use your time, how you will build your portion of our world. If all of us get this world peace virus, so we all go out there and contribute building our little piece, our little solutions, all morphing it the way it has to be up north and out west and in the desert and in Saudi Arabia and in India and all the places I get to talk to with this little box. If all of you sent containers, if they'll let you bring it in the country, you got windows, you got doors, you got your first little pure salvage outpost from which you can then build your dreams. If I can help you facilitate building your dreams, I've done fulfilled my dream. There is no greater dream. None. None. Not for Darby. Why? I just have to listen sometimes. Listen. Sometimes it's not the words. It's the way the words are said. It's the way the words are intended. It's the energy behind the words. It's the truth. It's so empty most of the time. Empty words. Poured out of empty heads. Reading them off of teleprompters. No heart. No. Nah. No truth. They wouldn't dare. They wouldn't be in front of the teleprompter. In fact, you're lucky to be online right now, aren't you? If you speak the truth. But 
hey, it's a fantasy, you know? It's just a fantasy. If I had the light, I'd come in the night and take us far from here. That feeling under and I can't control Can this be fixed? Well, I don't know Is it the world that has broken into Or am I the fool? What am I doing with all of this time? I gather my wisdom and still see no light inside the choices and still feel I'm on a fool's errand. A fool's errand. A fool's errand. So, assuming we don't cut out. Assuming we stay contact. In a basement bedroom together. with the windows blocked out and black light we can posters stop going on the wall, happening. he laid in a twin bed with a balloon full of gas known what simply happens? as Freon 12. Where can you go? The large